Hello, Job Seeker. This is Melody Saluka. My company is Red Ink LLC. And today's topic is how to seal the deal if you are going on multiple job interviews and not getting an offer. What I usually see happen uh, when I work with clients that have this situation, they, they're getting to the the one of the last rounds that's usually between them and one other candidate, and they're just not getting picked. And when I work with them individually, what I notice is that they are very personable, very friendly people. However, they lack some depth. They lack giving me that confidence they, that they are going to be able to do the job. There's just something about it that I just don't have that, that gravitas, if you will, that, that kind of grounding. So what I recommend, and this is appropriate for um, professional positions more than kind of hourly positions, uh, although you could use some, um, some creative strategies to have that conversation in a, an hourly conversation. But um, think about what you would do in the position. So in one of the interviews that you have when you're actually talking to the hiring manager, um, so let's say that the first interview is a phone interview and that's with a human resources person. The second interview when you come in is with a, an actual hiring manager who has done the job. During the course of that interview, what I want you to do is ask them what keeps them awake at night. What are their challenges? What, uh, what are their concerns or hopes for this position? What are their expectations? What are the projects that are coming down the pike? Those are just some really great questions to ask. And that is going to give you some, some information that you can respond to in a subsequent interview. So as you're asking that question of them in the, the second interview, you're taking notes and you're also providing some insight into what you would do um, just kind of off the cuff based on your experience and what you've done at other companies. Uh, it's not terribly well thought out because again, it's it's impromptu as you and you're just responding as they give you the questions in the interview, but you're at least giving them something to demonstrate that you are able to connect the dots with what you did in your previous position with what they want you to do and what their current concerns are. And that's that's very interesting and that's very compelling and that brings the interview into the present and not just in the past. So keep that in your back pocket. And then what I want you to do is at the end of that interview, when you walk out, take copious notes about what you talked about in that interview and what their concerns were, what your responses were, to document all of that. Because if they call you for a, a subsequent interview, um, when they're deciding between you and one other person, that's really when you want to bring your A game. And you are going to create a document that outlines what you would do in more depth uh, based on what you talked about in that previous interview. Um, you're going to outline a plan of action of how you're going to come into that company, what you're going to learn, who you're going to talk to, what departments you're going to start to talk to, um, just to start to wrap your arms around what they are looking for and what their expectations are. So the fact that you took the time to come up with a plan before you even started there is incredibly impressive. And it's a nice conversation point, again, to, to move the conversation into the future of when you are actually working at the company rather than just rehashing what you've done in the past. So think about that. Uh, I'm Melanie Saluga. My company is Red Inc. I do job interview coaching, red, job interview coaching, resume writing, and job search coaching. And I'd love to do presentations for employers, um, for uh, job seekers, for employers who have interns who are looking to train them, uh, career uh, college students, anyone that's in that market. Thanks very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.